some steps that should be taken, we acknowledging the, uh, the recognition of agency by communities, uh, that they must uh, realise that they are uh, agents in their own right uh, and they have control over resources, often resources which the university uh, wants or needs or wants to access, such as uh, student placements, uh, research projects and so on and so forth. The university must acknowledge that the community has that sense of agency uh, and it must respect that. Um, and then uh, the, um, the, the question of, uh, of, of working together using a common language uh, relates back to the, uh, uh, the, the, the use of concepts and terminology. Uh, just looking at some of the other points that were made, um, explicit agreements and contracts over methods, objects, timing, control of findings and dissemination, um, redefining what guidelines uh, and ethics should apply in terms of procedures, who sits on committees, uh, and then uh, ensuring that there's a balance between ethics uh, and uh, free thinking so that there isn't a constraint on, on the sort of ideas that people can, can propose. So they were the main points, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, a, lot, a lot of the same points were made in this group, so I suppose there's no point in me re-rehearsing all, all of those, and I know you're pressed for time. Uh, key things were, I suppose, <laughs> a, a very commonly uh, occurring word on this is the word mutual, uh, so the mutuality of the relationships I think seems to be coming across here as a uh, very important one. Um, the idea of, of, of a contract, uh, some kind of an agreement is, a, is also a very uh, common uh, theme which is mentioned here, Colin mentioned as well. Um, uh, the other, the other things I suppose I might, might be a little bit uh, different or things that maybe weren't mentioned so much in that one were achievable goals. So that the engagement would set achievable goals, uh, there would be small steps towards uh, achieving them uh, and that you would demonstrate action. So you're, you're saying you're bringing something real, you're not setting your goals too high and so on, so you make it easy for people to engage. Um, we, the other thing that we thought would be a useful thing would be to have a session, something like the session you ran, uh, in the community, with the academics and the community, to, to go through these kind of questions together and have kind of an open discussion around these sorts of ideas. I think almost everything else that we had was mentioned one way or the other in Cahalton. Um, quickly, this is measuring impact to the after effect research. Uh, if I just read this right, if I get it right, basically one of the problems is obviously after the study, academics leave, leave the community to itself basically. So there's a uh, question of impact on participants, there's a question of impact on policy as well, or research um, in practice. And quite often we've talked about how you know research project just be shelled and gather dust basically. Uh, there's also the idea that quite often people in the community may just defer to experts, they may be turned you know, to the deferred to authority. So there's a danger as well that people just let academics take over as well. Uh, and that led to sort of, I think it's been mentioned, like the grassroots ownership that the community should own the project. Um, and I think you mentioned yourself about um, some, obviously some research is different, sometimes the community can actually commission a uh, research as well. Uh, it's not just a question of, you know, the researchers deciding, the university deciding that going to study communities. Uh, so who is responsible? Um, Firstly, this researcher, are they responsible? Um, funders, and somebody's put Donald Trump. <laughs> Who was that? There's always one, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> and community, Alex just mentioned, can commission report itself or research. Um, the measures that we put in place um, turned out to be sort of questions uh, for whom, basically? Is it for the funders, the community, or colleagues? I mean, what's the, I mean, who's it for? For, uh, for what purposes? and over what time period as well, measures put in place. Uh, and the last bit's basically that we should take the knowledge and not let it sit on the shelf and uh, gather dust. It should be made, you know, common knowledge. It should be um, not just of just, I think, not just researchers, but of the participating group and community. And there should be a plan for the reaction, for dissemination as well. So. Uh, if, for example, uh, before the project sort of finalised, comes out the press, there should be already the idea of press releases or you know some sort of response to the media before 
any sort of misinterpretations put in the media so that it's not maligned in any way the research. Thank you.